I don't know if I like this more. I don't know. What do y'all think? All right, good morning, my boys. Good morning, my ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, my ladies and brodettes. Good morning, my lady boys and Taiwanese people. Good morning to everyone in Switzerland. Good morning to everyone in America, especially. Who said Alden wasn't inclusive, huh? Yeah. I have like a list of... <laughs> I have like a list of stuff that I did on, was it, it was on Thursday, cause that was my reset day. One of the things said, uh, get F boy earrings. Your boy got it. Why is it so blurry? Do I have to be like this close to the camera? Today is Monday. Today is just kind of a, not a reset day, but I mean, kind of just a chill day, you know what I mean? We got work for the rest of the week, well, except for tomorrow, all right? Tomorrow is gonna be a bit of a special day. I mean, nothing too crazy. I'm, I'm gonna be part of a shoot. It's my job, I guess. Just got off of work, now we're, um, no, no, now we're just waiting until uh, afternoon shift, so. Yep, I'll see you in a bit. Montage time. All right, so let me tell you a fun little story. Um, when I say fun, it, it's not a fun story. Just at work, nothing nothing too special, chilling. When all of a sudden, my eye started to bother me a little bit. Kind of like there's something in my eyelid or like, you know, that, that got into my eye. Like a speck of dust or something like that. So it started to become a little bit uncomfortable. And I thought, oh, I know there's a contact solution in one of the one of the little drawers, right? Or one of the cabinets, rather. It don't matter. I looked around and, you know, what do you know? It's, it's right there. Nice bottle of contact solution. Unopened, too. Went to the desk, wash my hands where well, I use hand sanitizer. Took the contacts out, uh, you know, dump some contact solution on it before putting it back on. I put the contact back in and I, let me tell you, this was probably one of the most painful experiences I've had recently. Uh, physically, we're not talking about mentally. <laughs> it started burning really hard. Took out the contact, gave it to my mom just so she could hold it for a little bit. Decided to wash my hands. And while I was suffering in pain, I, I was washing my hands because I thought it was the hand sanitizer, right? So I washed my hands, I grabbed the contact, and it repeated the process again. Dumped a bunch of contact solution on the contact and uh, put it back into my eye. You know, I said putting the contact back in my eye was probably one of the most painful experiences I've had recently. Well, the second time of putting the contact back in my eye, it, it, it just topped that. I was like, what the hell is going on? There must be something wrong. I washed my hands with soap. It, uh, what What is going on? Well, I checked the bottle. It's got a red cap. And for those of you that know, yes. Yes. For those of you that don't know, having a red cap means it's like a, I forgot what it's exactly for, but it cleans, like it's a cleaner pretty much. And it's got hydrogen peroxide in it. Hydrogen peroxide in eyes don't really go that well. So that was the reason why my eyes like, like it's, it's rough. Like you could tell the difference. Like I'll show you guys later. My right eye is good, my left eye not so much. Think about it as like dumping really hot pepper sauce, like into your eye even more than that because it's not hot sauce it's solution all right so i don't want to jump scare you guys but I'll, I'll pan it to like my 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 right eye okay so this is my right eye okay and then this there you go can you tell which one i had the disaster with <laughs> that's bad oh my god all right i gotta go shower now I'm kind of scared of this next part. I'm a little bit scared because this is gonna be gone. No, it's been a while since I've done anything to this, and I get it, I get it, all right? For those of you that are, I don't know, either 30 years older than me, or just genetically better than me, or on way too much testosterone, this isn't much. To me, this is a lot because it has gone to the point where, like, I, I remember a couple weeks ago, something tickled me right here, and I'm like, the f is that? No, it's just my, it's just my facial hair, so. This is gonna disappear. I'm scared. Here we go. I guess here's a little comparison. <laughs> I'll see you in a second. Nope. Obviously this isn't the final product, but definitely not, definitely not, definitely not. I haven't looked at myself in the mirror yet, but here we go. I'm a little child now. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I don't know if I like this more. I don't know. What do y'all think? The reason why I'm doing all the- I don't know if I mentioned it earlier actually, but the reason why I'm doing all this is because there's a shoot tomorrow. I have a little gig to go to tomorrow, which it's all good. So the whole point is for me to look like what I look like on the website. So whatever I look like on the website, um, that's kind of what I'm trying to emulate. So for now, I'd say uh, until, you know, until tomorrow, until the end of the day tomorrow, your boy's gonna go back to his front, like, front curls. My eyes are 
Oh god. So shout out to all the people that enjoyed my little response to Ken Samplin's like response, I guess. If you're watching this right now and you came from that video, thank you for watching and thank you for being interested in the channel. I had to make sure in the comment section, by the way, uh, for the people who did watch that video, I, uh, uh, you would know in the comment section I put, thank you so much for the support, but if you only expect this type of content from me, please do not subscribe. I'm a vlog channel, so I just want to get that out there just so there's no confusion or anything, because I get it. If you want to stop by, check out the video and hear my opinions on it, no worries, no worries, and I appreciate that. But I also don't want people to subscribe to me thinking that that's the type of videos that I do because it's com completely different. So. <laughs>what an interesting couple hours it has been i guess let me give you a little sports recap as to what happened i guess um i went to the gym and, and i guess a little side note for the whole gym stuff i don't ha i didn't have as much power it was definitely because of my pre-workout meal or my lack thereof and <laughs> pre-workout meal still a decent pump nonetheless that little clip that you guys just saw of me posing and stuff that was actually the second time at the gym today one because uh very very random very scary as well on my way home uh, or actually I was almost done with the lift. I got a call from my mom saying um, Emmy my dog uh, my the little dachshund. Oh, sorry. The little dachshund is uh, choking and she was unconscious while I was on the phone with them They were trying to resuscitate, you know, Emmy and stuff. Is the freaking all right, my bad. Hold on. All right, as I was saying They were trying to resuscitate Emmy while I was like rushing home, obviously. I left everything at the gym I just took my keys and ran bro because it's like that's you know, it's Jesus Christ. Luckily enough, uh, on my way home, Emmy started breathing again. Um, she was all good. By the time I got home, uh, she was doing just fine. When I say fine, she wasn't like she was breathing and she was, you know, she was, she was, she had, she was alive, but she's definitely, I, I can guarantee you now, all right? She's probably still going to be the same way that she was earlier, but earlier when I got home, she was really, she was, she was nervous. She, she, she barely moved. Traumatized, obviously, but you know, I'm just glad my little Emmy's all right. Tonight, actually, I'm going to be sleeping at, uh, at the house just, just in case, you know. You, you never know, so. Nothing wrong, Emmy's all good. She's not happy, which I get it. If I was almost choking to death, I'd, I, I get it. What did she choke on, you might ask? We have these like little chewable bones. It's like raw hide. I'm guessing she might have just swallowed like, like a too big of a piece and she's all good now though, so. That's all that matters. Love my dog. Either way, Dave's hot chicken. <laughs> You know, the funny thing was, I was gonna make a video about, like, how I ruined Dave's hot chicken or whatever. And the whole bit was supposed to be about, like, no, it's not even a bit, it's just me talking about what happened. So, I guess I'll talk about it here now since it's it's not true. So, pretty much what happened is I, uh, I have this bit where I try to get as much Dave's hot chicken sauce, uh, you know, as possible. Usually, I kind of try to score up to, like, 10 give or take and most of the times i get up to like 12 13 because sometimes i just be going up there and uh, <laughs> and constantly ask it's gone to the point where those guys over there actually know me because of said dave's hot chicken sauce so before this ban happened i guess every time i go in there they would just give me like a like five things of sauce right one of the times that they did that i went to go back up again for some more because i'm a little selfish right and then they told me apparently you can only give out five sauces to each person. So I was gonna make a video huffing and puffing about why, why? To my surprise, it's not true. This is full of Dave's hot chicken sauce. This is just Dave's hot chicken sauce. False alarm. Turn around, no I got options. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key and my heart is the lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.